What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? <clears throat> Back again with another video. We got the Jets in the house today. Finally, a different team. Uh, of course, a different kind of opponent. So let's see what kind of gameplay we're going to be doing today. Oh, as usual, gameplay. Uh, gameplay analysis. So, more like I'm going to go into what I was trying to accomplish, what he's trying to accomplish, and... The adjustments we made and uh, just see what happens all right let's welcome to New York Jets this is the first one of the first times I'm actually seeing this team online so I don't know what to expect or what to get from my opponent here so I get the ball first and I go on offense here first down no gain or just a one yard gain moving on to second down <clears throat> It's just like basic impression on my opponent, so I don't know what to, you know, what I'm gonna get from him. But here, it's coming with a man blitz, and he's able to drop me in the backfield for third and 19. So I'm already in the hole here, and just off what I'm seeing so far, it seems like he knows what he's doing. So once he gets the ball on offense, I gotta be keen on this. I can't mess around on offense anymore after this. So he sacks me again. So now I'm really in the hole. It's fourth and 24, and I get to punt the ball away and see what he provides on offense. See, there's going to be any ebook strategy going down. <laughs> so let's see what he comes out with. All right, comes out two one two. It's a tough formation to stop right here if you know how to run it right, because you kind of commit all your guys to the run, and if he's passing, you're kind of left. One on one is on the outside, so it's almost it's a, it's a real tough defense to stop. I mean, offense to stop if you play this type of offense all game, like two on two, tough. So let's see, he's gonna be passing. So we hit his tight end. He was trying to do a possession catch there, but I still hit him before he dropped. Okay, so I'm blitzing here on uh, first down here. If he's running, you know, should help me out because nobody ever expects you to do like what I'm doing. I'm playing cover four, but I'm blitzing all the linebackers. So I'm essentially blitzing seven people and just four on the coverage. See? So he's able to get me underneath. Actually, I think that was a man, man blitz, I think. No, that wasn't the cover four blitz. It was the man blitz. He leaves you vulnerable. Like I always say all the time, there is no stop all defense or stop all offense. There's just things you take away on the field and, you know, your opponent has to see it. And be able to you know take what you give him. He recognized that I was in man coverage, so he called out route, but I was able to make him drop the ball and I hit him. And every time I went man, he always knew I was in man. I don't know how he was knowing. Every time I went man, he knew I was in man. It's crazy. And he would call out route to like you know to mitigate it. So I just take it underneath. I try to take the top all the top stuff away. Every time I see any receivers bunched to one side, I'm always looking for either like those posts either inside or outside or a deep drag coming across the middle so I'm always playing for that I'm always, I have to uh, allocate all my players to play on top coverage so I can you know, take all that stuff away so generally underneath is really left open that's the part of defense that you leave open there's always something that's open it's just depending on what you what you find open nothing is like that right there I'm playing cover 2 but I'm playing cover 2 hard flats and I left my top open because I brought my safety down into the box so I left the top open so he just made a bad throw. That could have been a touchdown. Easy touchdown right there. Just a bad throw. So we got fourth and three. I'm still playing cover two still. I'm playing cover two to the line because I'm expecting him to do a bunch of drags trying to get this first down. See, I left my safety alone this time to cover the top. <laughs> I think it was in the box last time. So he was good right there where he's at. So he goes to drag. I take away the drag and I'm able to sack him. I think he was going all streaks. Yeah, all streaks. <coughs> All right, so now I know what I got to score now. So after what just happened, I gotta get money in. So, so another bad read on my part. Should have stayed. Just play action. That's why I always cancel all the time. They always roll out the pocket after they they fake snap. They roll out. So I just canceled it this time. Like stay in the pocket. I don't need you run outside. See how wide this guy's stands are. Now you don't want to be out there. So he comes up with another blitz again. Six man blitz this time and he sacked me again. It's third and twenty seven. Like wow. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get moving. I haven't even moved the ball an inch on offense. He keeps sacking me. So I'm gonna come out and see this play here. So my guy's towards the first down marker. Okay, I was able to get open. Any time, bang. 
Wow, this is a tough throw down the field. So I'm able to pick up the first down. So look at this right here. Like, how is this a draw? They even got touched. Like, come on, man. Killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Jeez. And this play right here. How is this out of bounds? Like, look at this. Watch this. How is this out of bounds? Watch his feet. Watch his feet. How is that out of bounds? How is that out of bounds? They called out of bounds before they even caught the ball. Come on, man. How is that out of bounds? So now I'm deep in third down and ten again. Jeez, man. Killing me. Alright, I'm able to pull them off sides here on third down. Before third and five. What he's kind of missing been doing on defense is he's been calling that man blitz. And if you're not paying attention to it, it can really muck you up. I do that too sometimes, so I kind of get what he's doing. I didn't mean to snap fast there. I think I was trying to call an audible when I hit X button and snap the ball. So I'm going to go for him on 4,005. He's score something because he gets the ball at half, so I need to score. It's like short quarters, man. They make you do things you you wouldn't normally do. <clears throat> if I had more time, I'd probably say I could let me punt the ball away so I could stop him. But five minute quarters, you don't have that much time. Let me get him in the middle. So he was playing like uh, cloth flats. My old my old box receiver was wide open. He was trying to take away all the underneath coverage. I didn't even look to the old receivers. It's a read, read option here. <laughs> it's almost worked though. Yeah, my old receivers in that two plays ago was wide, wide open. But I still was able to convert though, so I uh, can't really complain. Although I did miss like touchdowns downfield. So here we go again. Second and eleven. Come with the blitz again. Sack. Down big again. Third and eighteen. This is the same play I converted on first down. See if he's learned his lesson yet. He's still playing the left side of the field with his middle linebacker. Yeah. On the top. This guy's over open. He's playing cover four. So he's on the knee stuff is open. Oh, I should have taken inside. Second and ten. In this second quarter. And a really long drive. Try to run it again. Goes on and on. If I get it ready this time. This is Howard on second down. And nope. this may be a carbon copy as he'll no dice. They've hit two for four thus far. He's doing everything that I would do. <laughs> Try to preserve that uh two minute warning. I still would have saved one more time after after too many warning, but I'll sneak in for the first. Alright, we got fourth and two or so. Yeah, fourth and two. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. Like I said, he gets the ball at half, so I need to try to get in the end zone. If I take a field goal here, if he scores on the ensuing drive, and then he goes in halftime, it'll be fourteen to three, so that's what I'm thinking of when I'm doing this. Then again, if I don't score, I'm still in the hole, but 14 to 0, 14 to 3, it's almost like the same thing, so I just need to get in the end zone. It's a bigger risk I'm taking. So I'm just going to go for it. Here we get a first down. Even better. I think he knows. I should have known too, but see the way he was playing. Look at Look how spread out his line is. He's kind of like, well, just come on, come on in. Come on in. All right. 
I got my touchdown. Because if, if, if he was still going to keep trying to stop me, I'll just want to run time down. Your choice, my man. Let me in or waste time. Your choice. All right, he's got two minutes, no timeouts, and he's got to score a touchdown before the half. At least to make it interesting for the uh, start of the third quarter. I really can't wait for Madden 19, though. I just want to see what they do with this close formation. Is it, do they provide any better defense? That's why the way it works is like just unbelievable. It's like a handicap for offense. It's like if you don't know how to run offense, just run all this like tight close formations. And, you know, play it That's why I blitz into it a lot of times. Cause I can't. If I see, if you sit in the pocket, it, it'll eat up all your coverage. So you try to blitz into it, and hopefully you can get to the quarterback. I'm still watching out for this deep post coming from the middle. And also, there's a tight end over here. See, tight end. It's hard to stop that. Cause it's like either I choose one. If I want to give up the tight end, or do I want to give up the running back? See, I'm playing man, man blitz. Able to cause a fumble. All right. And a 14 zip. I think that was like a surprise to him. See, that's how you like you mixing man with your coverages. It was so often just call man blitz because it, it kind of throw your opponent off. <coughs> Which is essentially the same thing he was doing to me. That's why he was having all the sack. Because by the time I'm trying to figure out what kind of zone he's in, he's like, he, you know, he's playing man, and he has somebody in the backfield for me to be really good on my check down. So if, every once in a while, I just call man. Man blitz. It helps. Especially when you know your opponent's passing the ball. Like, that stuff helps. So now he has a minute 10, try to get in the end zone. And make it interesting again. Third quarter. He can score here. It's field goal, touchdown. He's still in the game. The game's not over yet. I should have called a timeout right here. Because he must have he must have seen something. Like, see his running back run out there in the wild by himself. Okay, I'm playing Matt this time. Oh, he blocked his... Uh, ooh, almost got him. He hit me with the deep post. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't stand this like formation. They, they just annoy me. It's so cheesy, like the cheesiest formations ever. Like I told you, you never ever see me run it. I just because I just I think you can win without it. Like you don't. It's a crutch in the game. Because just like I told you, it it, it breaks down zones and man. Just like just <clears throat> it's the worst formation they they put in the game this year. That's the only thing that's killing Madden 18 right now is this formation. Bunch and this and close. Just. Zones, nothing is covering it. They drop back too far in the zone, so the underneath drags are just gonna kill you all day. If you try to take the underneath drags away, they're gonna kill you with the post all day. If you play man, they're gonna kill you post all day or drag routes all day. It's, it's just a mess. It's a complete mess. So I'm just, I'm just hoping they fix it for next year, because it's a real, real problem this year. If you can, if you can surround your offense around this all day, then yeah, you're gonna be good. Because I'm doing things on defense to take away certain things that I know that I think he might do. And when I do that, I'm leaving underneath open. That's why he's hitting me with those drags. <clears throat> so I'm trying to cover the drags, but then the deep post is open. Because I'm trying to play man blitz. My blitz didn't get there. And that's the post I'm telling you about. They're going to hit you with post all day. And the reason why I couldn't get the post earlier is because I was playing cover two, but I was pulling a blue in the middle. But then, like I tell you earlier, I'll leave him underneath all open. So it's a give and take on, on, on defense. <clears throat> it's what are you willing to give up? So you find a way to creep all the way up here and second and goal. Eight seconds left. Trying to get in the end zone to make this a interesting ball game. He's able to squeeze one in. Alright, so moving here to the third quarter. 
just has to try to tie the game now. Alright, let's start, start this thing off. Gotta get in the end zone to make this interesting. I leave my safety right there in the middle so it, gives, so it covers a little bit better. <clears throat> if I leave him where he has to stay like almost like what, 12, 15 yards away from the line of scrimmage, they drop back too far. And it kind of leaves like this big hole right in the center of the field. So, still playing cover three. As you can tell, this is a crazy play that keeps doing. It's hard to take. It's, you know, it's hard to stop because he has it's high low, high low with the tight end over here on the right and the running back. So if I'm I'm taking the tight end away, so he just keeps dumping it down to his running back. So, and he still in his formation again. So he goes in this, the only thing you do is blitz against it, which I'm trying to do here. But he's playing a bubble. Still blitzing up the middle. <laughs> Block is running back, sneaks off, should be in a fumble, trying to dive, but I didn't give it to him. Still in this formation again, drags, double drags. Trying to bring my guys in to take it away. It's running back. I took the double drags away, but I didn't come for the running back coming out the backfield. Back and close again. He's just, you can kind of notice and watch the gameplay. You can see that he never came out of close or like stack formations. Like everything was off of close <coughs> or stack formations. Like three run, three wide receivers to one side of the field. I don't even know who this number five is. But he sure got some wheels. So I never really played Jets before, so I don't understand their personnel. It's probably like the first time I think I played them all year. So I was trying to blitz here on fourth down, and he finally hits the post that I've been taking away all game. This is the reason why you don't play man. So if you use man, you got a man blitz, and the blitz doesn't get there because he blocked his running back this time. He's able to get on the outside. So we are tied. 14 to 14. Alright, I'm back on offense, guys. Back on offense. Definitely was aggressive. So this time it's how to block the running back. That took too long to throw. Box eventually came open, but it took forever to get out there. Alright, we're down big again, second 15. Ooh, almost got sacked. I'm able to get the ball off. First down. Here's my high low right here, running back in box. See if he takes box away. Got the ball, box rolls out, box being taken away, taken underneath. Alright, big game, big game in this territory. I'll run the ball here. At least I'm going to be expecting this. Boom! Everybody get outside. Get over here, block. And we're in the end zone. Three plays. Now he's got to step up and play some defense now. One stop. That's all we need, guys. Just one stop. One stop. At least we kind of we have an idea of what he's been doing, right? 
So what has he been doing on uh, on offense? It's the close formations. It's the post of the tight end. The running back coming out the backfield. And I really haven't been giving them the post on the middle. I've been taking that away all game. So he keeps trying to run like a post with the wide receivers to the. But I've been kind of taking it all, taking it away all game. So I have I have all this data so far. He's still in his close formation. See, I put my safety right there. That's to, to help take away the, the deep post. It goes to deep post. So I take that away and it sneaks off. All right, first down. And you can see why he's sneaking off. And this next play is going to do the exact same thing. What he's doing is he's watching for my the guy I'm controlling. He's watching for him to clear out with his drag. And once I clear out, he's, he just takes off. Watch. So I'm watching for the drag coming. So drag. As soon as I take off to clear the middle, he just takes off. So all right, we got to stop that, man, because he's going to do that off field. So what I'm doing to mitigate it is I'm still rushing from the outside, but I'm going to close my close the middle. Have him rush close like this. So when he rush, see, so it doesn't give him the space to run out. See, so he can't run out the pocket, except he runs out to the side. So he just can't be taken off of the middle anymore. Boom! Can't take him off the middle anymore. See, a lot of times I don't even use uh, quarterback spy. It's not really necessary sometimes. I, I mean, all year I've never used quarterback spy, and I've played people that they rush with their quarterbacks. You just gotta find ways to put pressure on them. Either blitzing up the middle is always a good one. I like blitzing up the middle. How is that a freaking roughing the passer? <sighs> oh, in fourth down. Man. So when the game is close, man, like little things like that just like frustrate you to no end. You said it took away all like penalties the computer can call, but how is that even a roughing the passer? Make it act like it's so easy to get to the quarterback. You finally get to him and he call a penalty on you. Alright, we're back at it again. Second and ten. There goes the game. I worry about the post. This tight end over here. On the white side of the field. There he goes. Alright. Just chuck it up underneath. No worries. I can take that all day. See, boys, see all those, like, the slot receiver running that deep drag, deep drag post up the middle? That's, that stuff it hurts. So, yeah, I'm taking those away. This was, like, all streaks play. Let's see if we can get somebody to blitz him up the middle. Let's see? Every time I call Matt, sometimes I call Matt, he knows what I'm doing. He call a quick out. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know why he's knowing, but that's pretty good. But right here, still blitzing up the middle again. He doesn't block his running back. <clears throat> Let's try to take off. And boom! Finally, cause a turnover. Yes, thank you. Man. I didn't really piss if you like recovered that fumble. Like, come on, man. I'm battling over here. Should have canceled the uh, play action. Ugh. Man, blitz again. Maybe we're drawing both sides. CV takes his aggressive pass rushing off. Here, drum off size again. Take it off, man. Trubisky. 
Catch him underneath. First down. See if he calls a timeout. Trying to true clock on. Got one ball here, anyways. Just a quick run play. First him to use those timeouts. Nowhere to go. Timeout. All right. Let's see what we got here on second and eleven. That's a pretty good pass rush, I'll tell you that much. I think he sacked me like five or so times today. Here they come again. Oh, sacks again. Alright, third and 21. Remember this play from earlier? Because it's playing, uh, it's kind of like a cover, I think it's playing cover four again. I'm going to switch, flip the play here. I'm going to have, uh, same box all the way to the first arm marker. Alright. We go again. Remember what happened to uh, Coleman earlier? How? How? Barely even got touched, man. Come on, man. That's game right there. Jeez. It's like you do all this work and the computer just robs you. <laughs> like, stuff like that I cannot control. I can see if I got like hit real hard. You don't come and just touch me in the back and I drop the ball. Same thing with Cohen. He just, he was backpedaling. The guy touched him and he drops the ball. Like just things that happen in the game, it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it just really feels like they're working against you or something. Like no matter how hard you play, things always happen that you cannot control. Yeah, Alright, we're back on it again. Try to stop him one more time. Try to see if we can stop him one more time. Come on, defense, let's go. See, I'm closing the, the middle. So I don't want to try to sneak out of the pocket again. Ooh, that was a good play. That was the window that's usually open in cover two. And he's able to see it. So that was pretty good. He just couldn't complete the pass. That would have been a one play touchdown right there. Alright. Looks like I got lucky. Lucky me. If that was Tom Brady, that would have been a freaking... That would have been a touchdown. But he got inaccurate passes with this quarterback. Nobody knows. Still going on to the same play against the, the post with the tight end and the running back. So I'm trying to play man against him. I'm going to move this guy all the way over to the end. But I don't know why they switched though. See the guy moving all the way out? They switch with the guy in the middle. They're going to switch. I don't know why they do that. Just, just play how I want you to play. See how they switch? So now he's open, but I got sacked. It's like I want him to stay outside. Stay outside and play the tight end on man. But he manually switch. I don't want you guys to switch. I want you to stay outside. See, right there, he's playing the tight end. Once I snap the ball, he's going to switch. Like, come on, man. Just lucky I'm blitzing, so I'm able to get there. That's my only... Well, that's the tight end is wide open. The tight end is, is wide open. We got third and 28. And time's still running. Let's see if it drove me off sides. Alright, that's fine. I'll just take it off because I'm going to be blitzing anyways. I'll just take it off. I already took it off. How am I being drawn off sides? Alright, let's go to conservative then. Jeez. See you know what I mean when I say like they're working against you? <laughs> I swear it's like they want you to lose. Man. That's why I've been noticing that lately. It's like I play people who feel like all the everything's turned up against me or something. Like they want me to lose. And why do they switch my guys? I want my the guy I'm controlling to see. Because then it leaves the tight end wide open. I know that's going to happen. It's like, damn. Ah, oh, boy. Alright, let's go ahead and end this. I'm going to cover this cover four. It's going to be a different type of blitz for him. Because what he's expecting to be there is not going to be there now. I'm blitzing seven guys. So, oh, it's all blue zone. So you can run that deep, whatever you want to run on there. I don't care. Because he's not going to get to the first down marker. So that's it. And he gets pissed and he ends the game. You should have stayed. There's only eight seconds left. I'm just going to kick a field goal, that's all. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Until next video, I'll holla at you dudes later. 
All right, records at the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that like button. And if you have any comments in the comment section, I'll try to respond. Until next video, talk to you guys later. One.